All right, now we're getting to my favorite pistol. It is a Smith & Wesson 40 MP. Uh, it's the same ones that our officers use. Um, it's a very good gun. It's like a Glock, pretty much. It's the same thing as a Glock. This is my favorite gun. Uh, it shoots really well. It doesn't have much recoil. And I'm on the button to get the mag out. It is loaded. Give me one second while I dechamber it. Okay, there's the round for it. It's a pretty big round. Um, like I said, it was loaded. All my guns are loaded because an unloaded gun serves no purpose at all. Um, the trigger is fairly easy to pull. Um, there's your slide button to take the slide off. Um, it's got the butt to release the slide. Um, it has really, it doesn't have a safety, so you have to be very careful with this gun. Um, they are very good guns. Um, we done some testing on numerous guns between a 45 and a 9 and other different guns which we will do testing on again for the videos um, and the 40 we found out is one of the most deadliest guns that they make um, I have the shells here this is a 40 that stayed formed for through two bundles of papers um, this is a full metal jacket that hit a cinder block which mushroomed out very well this is another 40 that we shot with a cinder block that mushroomed out very well and this is a 40 that no that's not a 40 I know I got another one in here somewhere okay there it is this is another 40 that we shot and it was a full metal jacket and that proves that a full metal jacket and a 40 can kill you it does not matter the ammo that you use it just matters on where you place the shot you hit bone with a full metal jacket and you're going to do some damage And they are very good guns, the same gun that our law enforcement uses, but you have to get the MP version. If you just get a regular Smith & Wesson, you're buying junk. But if you get the Smith & Wesson MP version, then you have an awesome pistol. Um, I would recommend this pistol to anyone that needed a good pistol to carry. This is better than a 45 I don't like 45s that well because they're not very dangerous at all you have to be like up close this one shoots very good it hits targets hard up close and someone running from you that's why our police officers use it and our military is going to start using it because of that um, it's a very good gun it's it shoots low so you have to get used to shooting it and it shoots low because so you can fire repeatedly without it jumping way up on you um, so you can have accurate shots by shooting fast and they're very good guns I'll do reviews on taking them apart one day and I'll move on to the next weapon